Hello boys and girls, it's Miss Preller here with your guided reading lesson of the day. The title of today's book is Wind Blows, and it's all about the things that the wind can blow and the different ways it can blow them. Now, the author of today's book is Sarah Gushin, and there is no illustrator because just looking at the cover, you can see this isn't a drawing, this is a photograph, so someone took pictures to um, make this book. Before we start reading, let's take a look at our learning target. So boys and girls, our learning target for Wind Blows is I can cross check the picture with the beginning sound. So that means we look at the picture, we think about what the story is about, and then when we get to the word, the tricky word in the sentence, we check the beginning sound to make sure that what we think it says makes sense. We always want to ask ourselves that question. Does that make sense? Now, there's a pattern to our story, and it is simply wind blows, and then there's a bunch of words that change. The words that change quite a bit are the position words, the way the wind is blowing things. Sometimes the wind is blowing on things. Sometimes the wind is blowing things up. Sometimes it blows things over or across, or against, or even through. So there's a lot of different ways that the wind blows things. And when you get to those words, some of them you might know, like on and off, some of them you might not. And that's where we use that target. Look at the picture and check the beginning sound to help give you a clue what that word might say. Okay, let's get started reading. Let's get started reading. Remember, the title is Wind Blows. Try reading it. And our focus question for today is how does the wind blow things? So pay attention to the way things are moving when the wind blows. Okay, now I'm gonna model looking at the picture and using the beginning sound. Wind blows on the t -t trees. Okay, so I had to look for words I know. Wind blows on the trees. I read it a second time to make it smooth. You try. Good job. Now I want you to think about what is blowing and how it's blowing. Try reading the sentence. Now I'm going to show you. Wind blows up the sand. Did you read wind blows up the sand? Good job. Okay, look at how the wind is moving the water. Try reading. Good, now I'm gonna try. Wind blows over the water. Did you find that word over? I have the O sound, the long O. Try on this page. It says, wind blows across the snow. Were you able to read that? Okay, look at the picture. Think about the beginning sounds. Did you read, wind blows away the leaves? Okay, look at the picture. What's happening? and look at the beginning sounds. Give it a try. Now I'll try. Wind blows ag -g against. See how I use the extra clue for, with the G? Against the birds. Wind blows against the birds. Sometimes you gotta add some extra sounds to give your, your brain a clue what the word could mean. Okay, look at the picture. Look at the beginning sounds. Give it a try. Did you read, wind blows through the hair? Give this page a try. Did you read, wind blows in 
to. See, this word is into. There's two chunks I know. Me. Wind blows into me. Great job. Let's go back to the beginning of our story now. And this time, you're going to try reading it on your own. Remember, if you get stuck, you can always rewind the story and listen to how I solved it and then go back to where we were reading. So the title is Wind Blows. Great reading, boys and girls. Now we're going to go and answer some comprehension questions. So, boys and girls, for my comprehension question of the day, I want to make sure we're really looking through the text to find our answers. So, today we're going to look at cause and effect. Cause is the thing that happens first, and effect is what happens next. So, for example, looking at the cover, I would say the wind blows, and what's the effect? What happens next? Well, when the wind blows, this little girl's hair and blanket get blown around like crazy. So the cause is the wind blowing, and the effect is the hair and the blanket flying around. Okay, so let's try it with another page. Boys and girls, when the wind blows, what happens to the tree? So, we want to look at the page with the trees. When the wind blows, the trees go sideways. We would say, so the effect is the trees going this way. Okay, my next question is, when the wind blows, what happens to the birds? So, we got to turn to the page where there's birds. There they are. And what happens to the birds? When the wind blows, the bird, it goes against the birds, and look at their feathers, their little, like, eyelashes. They go sideways. Good. On the page with water, what happens when the wind blows? Go back to the page with water. Ooh, the wind blows over the water, and what does it make the water do? It makes a wave. I bet you didn't know that the things that, um, what causes waves is wind blowing. Check it out. Good. My next question is, when the wind blows, what happens to the leaves? So we got to turn to the page where there's leaves. Ooh, what's happening to the leaves? It says right here, when the wind blows, the leaves blow away. There they go. And my last question, what happens to the boy and girl when the wind blows? Ooh, right here it says it blows into me. And look, they've got their windbreaker jackets on, their hair is flying. Good, so today we played around with cause and effect. Cause is what happens first, and effect is what, um what happens next. So the wind blows and then next the hair goes flying. It's been so fun reading with you and I can't wait to read it with you again tomorrow. Have a good day.